Hello, students. Good, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello, hello teacher. Hello, teacher. Hey, you? Welcome. Welcome to our English class. It's actually a great chance to be with you this beautiful night and ready to practice and improve English. So how was your day? Tell me. How was your day? Tell me about your personal experience during this time. Yes. It was good. It was great. A little tired, sleepy, with a lot of energy. How was it? Oh, how has it been? Because, you know, we are still actively working in activities. So tell me about it. It was great. Hello, hello. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hector. Welcome. Okay, let's see here. Uh, well, we're going to talk today about this section number five. And this is the conference 13, talking about the future with present continuous and specifically using be going in this part. So we will um, study today this part. And also, guys, please don't forget to work in the exercises and related to the platform because it's important to, to work in this. And all, also connected in the class, connect to class, plus having the camera on because it's a requirement from ILSA 4. So please, the camera on, it's necessary in this class. Well, so we're gonna be working today about the future with the present continuous form. As you know, we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are happening at the time of speaking or actions that are happening in a period of time. But at the same time, the present perfect can be used as part of the future activities. And in that case, we will focus using be going to. That's one of them. So let's start the class today with this part. And you can see here the presentation about this class. The topic is making excuses. So look at this one. There are a lot of people who always, always, always like they have different excuses for everything. So we can check this part, like some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. When somebody's inviting you to do something, to get out, to have an activity, and you are like, you know what? 
I don't want to go. I think that I'm okay not going. So I prefer, you know, saying something different instead of going. So you are like planning, you know, saying uh, something in a note, in a good or polite way. That's why people make some excuses. And look at some of them. It says, look at this one. Okay. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. Or I'm busy that nine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can find a babysitter. I'm not feeling well. I had to work. I just got a new puppy and I have to stay home with it. I have class at nine and my favorite TV show is on that nine. Or I had to get up early the next morning. So look at this one. There are a lot of a lot of excuses. Yeah, so that's why we are like thinking about some excuses, especially when we don't want to go out with someone or because we have some other things as hard prejudices. So we decide to say that you cannot. Look at this one. I'm sorry. I had to wash my hair that night. So we are like planning to, you know, to think about some personal excuses, especially when we have some other things to do. Yeah, that's one of the ways of this one. So, and we are going to respond the following questions. Have you ever used any of these excuses? So this is an spoken activity. And also, have you ever heard any of them? Yes, I have heard about some of those excuses are very common because people, they prefer saying that they had to work or they are sick. So that's why they are not allowed to, to go out as part of excuses because they don't want to go for personal reasons. Which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? Check the good ones. And what other excuses can you make for not accepting an invitation? So what I want you to do right now is to think about the, the three of them. And also I want you to like try to give an answer because we'll have a short time to share our opinions related to these questions. And also you can check uh, those common excuses. And at the same time, you will evaluate which ones are the best. Okay, take a short time to to respond then and we will take a time to talk in class and give our, our point of view. Okay, if you have questions about vocabulary, you have the freedom to ask and I will be helping you guys. Let's go.
Okay, if you have questions about vocabulary, uh, you, you may ask and I can help you with that, guys. Okay, please uh, let me know if you are ready, um, if you have your answers about these questions. Yes or not yet. I'm ready. Ready, okay, thank you. Someone else is ready too? Someone else in the class is ready to. Okay, someone else is ready to say yes or not. Hello, do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, well, thank you. So what we had to do is that we're going to be working in a small groups and we will socialize these equations uh, in a briefly way. So for that reason, we'll work with the small groups and you will discuss about them and also you talk about it. So let's try with the groups and answer these equations. Okay, let's practice.
que si hemos, hemos usado alguna de estas excusas. Este, sí, usa cada uno las leyes, dice, sí, la ha usado, no la ha usado. O solo menciona las que ha usado alguna vez. Sí, sí. sí. ¿No, ¿Hola? Sí. Entonces, ¿cómo haríamos? Alguien las pregunta y responde cada uno. ¿Cómo? No, yo diría que cada quien mencione las que alguna vez ha utilizado. Y después las compartimos. Y las, pues, las compartimos. Okay. Porque yo casi no puedo desde muy chiquito. Y si no, también está en la... En la... En lo que mandó el teacher hoy en la tarde. Voy a buscar mi teléfono. Que me hizo. Entonces... Entonces contestémoslas y después las compartimos. Ok, este. Las contestamos aquí en el grupo, yo solo. Ajá. Yes, have ever used excuse. For example, I have to work. I'm not feeling well. I'm missing that pride. Yeah, I have class that night. Okay. 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 I have used. I have to work. Um, I have to get early in the next morning. I have classes that night. I use. I'm busy that night. I'm not feeling well. I have to work. Uh, I have class that night. Um, I this. Tenemos la primera, segunda, que es la de esta clase de esta noche. Uh -huh. Buenas noches, profesor. Buenas noches. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening. You finished? Sí, solo estamos terminando con la última ya. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Continue, guys. I'm sorry. Right. Y tiene que ser bien complicada. No, la que usted le parezca mejor. La que me mejor. guste. La que le parezca mejor. Ok. Sería entonces. Sería la de. Eh, es que hay varias. <risa> hay muchas. <risa> Vamos a ver. Hay dos. Eh, sería, para mí sería la de I just get a network puppy. I have to stay ah. out in week. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. Voy a cuidar a mi perrito nuevo. Correcto. <laughs> Muy bien. Es el perrito. Sí. No sé cuál más le gustaría a ustedes. 
Tres dijeron, pero no sé si quieren. ¿Ah? Más. Tres dijeron, aunque todas están buenas. Pero... Sí, todas están. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Y la Otra excusa más grande, la, 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 la popul, sería I have to work. <risa> Sí, tengo que trabajar. Y otra que no esté allí. ¿Sí? Otra que nos la hayan aplicado, nosotros la apliquemos. <ríe> Decir, I'm so sorry, my parents don't let me go. Está bien. O oh, está mal estructurada. Lo siento mucho, mis papás no me dejaron salir. Ajá, en su caso ir, se ir, puede perdón. aplicar. En su caso se puede aplicar. Sí. Sí. I'm sorry, I'm sick, estoy enferma. Sí. Esa es buena. La popular sería me siento con fiebre o con gripe y para no contagiarlos, algo así. Me siento enfermo, le voy a decir. I am sick. I feel sick. ¿eh? La que dijo la compañera, I'm so sorry, my parents did not let my blood out. Es muy buena, sí. Aplica para su edad. Para mí creo que no. Y para mí. No. Para el otro compañero tal vez sí, también. ¿A quién le aplica? Para Marco creo que sí. Ah, Marco, aplica para usted. ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál? Persona que sí. Mucho, mis padres no me dejaron salir. Ah, pues más o menos, la verdad. <risa> Sí, va. No, menos, no me la creo mucho, pero. <risa> Eso sería muy popular. En un trabajo que yo tuve, una compañera mía siempre le decía a la jefa: Se me pinchó la llanta. Se me pinchó la llanta. Todos los días le pinchaban la llanta. <risa> solo la llanta se le dañaba. Sí, solo la llanta se le dañaba. Ahorita podríamos aplicar, mire, me agarró el tráfico. Ah, es el famoso. Ahorita sí, porque ahorita hay un tráfico, si no se va tarde. ¿qué? Me topé en un tráfico, dice la gente. Sí. A mañana y en la noche se hacen buenos tráficos. ¿eh? Ay, no, qué terrible. Muy horrible. Esos son sí, tráficos sí. espantosos que uno llega hasta, hasta con una cara de felicidad, Dios mío. Sí, hasta de dos horas casi o más. Como quiere decir, modo no me hablen. Así. Cabal. Cabal, es cierto. Ay, no. ¿Cómo sería esta del tráfico en español? Ah, ¿Me topé con el tráfico o cómo sería? Imaginen, decimos esa a plena 10 de la mañana, no nos creería. Sería I got the traffic. Ah, va. ¿Cómo sería? Sí. Ah, esto me escribo aquí. Ok. Parece que me pegaron la letra. Me salí. Sí, sería hay que tráfico. Ya no vamos a salir. Ya no, como hay.
Okay, students, congratulations for the practice. So you selected the most common uh, excuses for refusing an invitation. That's very common most of the time when you don't want to go out with someone or because you have some other priorities to do. And that's why you can use some of them. Some of them are more common than others. So perhaps you can like think about that. Well, let's continue with the rest of the activities we have here in the class today. And also we have a conversation. Um, because of the time we will just like watch in general and we will try to analyze you know, this conversation. The conversation is between Lynn and Miguel. And it says, says Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? And I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. So look at that one in when you have some plans to go out. Um, definitely that it's hard to refuse that. But when you don't want to go out for different reasons, we, you, you use some common, you know, excuses that maybe can convince the other person to not go out because you are tired, because you're sleepy, because you, you will hang out with someone else. So you have a lot of things. So look at the, the case of Miguel. He said, hi, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Well, do you want to go bowling? And he said that, well, he has a game. And okay, so he has a previous um, meeting or a previous activity that he will prioritize. So, but the other person is like, you know, some other time, maybe we can go out. And also she recommends, um, Miguel, you know, are you doing anything tomorrow we could go then? So besides that he came not today, he requests perhaps to go out tomorrow. And she said that she's available. So they switch in that case, the schedule, and they go uh, other days. So that's one of the things about making plans. Um, sometimes you are like planning about what to do and uh, for some circumstances, you cannot go because you have to work or because you have to study or perhaps because you you feel sick and you are not allowed to go. And the most valuable is like trying to um, look for another solution related to the problem or at least the invitation, like switching dates or maybe in another time or when the person needs more available. So you are actually ready talking about that. And I don't know if you have questions about the vocabulary. Do you? Do you have questions about vocabulary? Teacher. Hi. Solo una pregunta sobre un, donde dice, I love to, porque usan el, el tú después del love. Ah, because it's a, it's a not complete statement. I love to. Um, in this case, it's a connection. The meaning in Spanish is like you say, me encantaría. And so to in that case will be very useful to complete the phrase or the statement. It's like the phrase is like uh, kind of summarized. You say, you know, I love to, but I can't. You know, it's very common to use it, especially when we are using um, the auxiliary would plus the verb, and then to. I love Thank to. You. I would like to. It's instead of saying, I would like to go, I would like to. You summarized. Or you make a kind of, you know, contraction. You know, was I love to. I would like to go. Or I would love to go. Instead, you say, I love to. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, something else? Check this. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre usar solo after y afterward? Hello, hello. Do you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, so for example, when you use afterward, 
you're using like some other expressions like más tarde, you know, that's that's the um, that's the common word about afterward. And also when you're talking about after and um, you're talking about después, uh, similar to, they are similar. I mean, they are like synonyms. And remember that the synonyms are words that are different written, but have the same meaning. So in that case, both can be used as synonyms. Okay, let's see the next part here, and we are going to share the topic that we need to check. The future with the present perfect continuous. What do you know about the present present continuous? Uh, give me an idea, what do you remember about this topic? When we do an action to the future. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so let's continue with that part. Okay, so look at that one. The feature with present, present continuous and we go into. In this case, we use with present continuous, we also ask the following question, what are you doing tonight? And we using this structure for the future. We're not talking about in this moment, we're talking about tomorrow or two days, three days later. So we're talking about the future. I am going to a soccer match. So in that case, the person planned this activity before, so he will go, uh, in that case, going to. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. So in that case, we can use the present perfect continuous, well, in this, the present continuous, and to talk about future actions. In most of the time, these future actions are planned, or they decided to do it. Look at also with V, be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? What is he going to do tomorrow? She is going to work until five. So you can see here that she's using she plus the verb B plus the verb and I and ing go and ing. Uh, depending on the verb, because it could be doing, going, taking, etc. Depending on the verb, and also the complement. What is she going to do tomorrow? She is going to work until five. Are they going to bow go bowling? Yes, they are. So this is an answer in a short form, using contractions. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. Oh, no, she, he isn't. Yes, she is. Oh, no, she isn't. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. So we're using contractions in this case. And some common time expressions like um, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. So we're talking about some expressions that can give us an idea about the future. I am going to the movies tomorrow with my friends. So you have a plan that tomorrow you are going to go because you have planned that. I am going to visit my grandfather on Friday. Or I am going to a party this weekend. Or... Um, I am planning to have a trip next week. So we're using the present continuous with the future concept. That's one of the most general ideas about be going to. But what I want to do is to check some statements because the goal is that we can see some exercises. 
Look at these examples that we saw before. And it says that we had to uh, try to complete this statement using the present continuous. Like the examples we did, like, look at this one. She's going to work. Uh, I am going to play soccer. My brother is going to study English. Uh, your sister is going to come to school. Uh, I am not going to travel to Brazil. I am not uh, completing the homework for tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to the soccer field. Uh, I'm not going to the mall this night. Oh, I'm not going to take a taxi for going home. So we can use the present perfect in that case with a future part. So what I want you to do is that I, you use these structures, the present continuous and be going to. Look at the first example. We to Madrid on Monday. The main go the main verb is go. Okay, give me an idea about the first sentence. How do you think the first sentence will be using the present continuous and be going to? How could be the first one? We are going to go to Madrid on Monday. Okay, teacher, we're going to go. To Madrid. We're going to go to Madrid. So you can see here the structures. Look at the chat. So we're going to Madrid on Monday. So we're talking about something that the person is going to do, especially because has planned this activity. So, okay, so let's try. Let's try with the following part. I will give you um this short time to complete these exercises. And meanwhile, I will take advantage to check in the attendant list. So please in this moment, uh, look at the following exercises and see what happened in the next part. Before that we start with the exercises as a practice, I just want to know if it's that clear the activity. Uh, only to verify, we are going to uh, do sentences, oh, sorry, we're going to solve the exercises using the structure of going to and present continuous as future, right? Yes, in that case, we have the first example using we, uh, we plus the verb be and going to. And I am going to, my mother, Mark's mother believes that he is going to, and also the compliment. So I want you to complete the sentences using going to. After that, we will share in the chat the answers together. So you can prove that you have already done with the, the, with the exercises here, okay? So... Work with that one. Eh, quiero que trabajen en este ejercicio en este momento. Les acabo de mandar ahí una captura al grupo para que pues, usted lo pueda tener. Y mientras vamos a aprovechar a pasar la lista de asistencia. Um, before that we go on to the exercises, I just want to make sure if you understood this exercise or no so much. No sé si ha comprendido el ejercicio. Yes, now yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, someone else say yes to? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, is clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. No, you're, you're in a different level, of course. Obviously, you're in a different level. That's cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am sorry to ask you. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Take your time because it's that kind of review for all of us because we have been studying this one for a long time. So it's a short review. So take your time and work with that one. And let me check right now the attendant list. I'm coming back.
Okay, you listen your name and you say present, please. Okay, let's see here. And Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Eh, Blanca Elena. Present, teacher. Thanks. Um, Christian Salatiel Molina. Christian. Eh, Claudia Lisette Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, David Roberto Aquino. David Roberto. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, I'm here. Elena Gabriela Jovel. Present, teacher. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda. Giselle Emperatriz Cañas. Present. Thanks. Eh, Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor. Present. Thanks. Eh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn Stephanie. Eh, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, María Elena Flores. María Elena Flores. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Presente. Present teacher. Ok. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Present teacher. Thanks. And Vanessa Gabriel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Jessica. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Ok, and how are you going? Good? Bad? Excellent. How are you going with, with these exercises? Okay, uh, almost, almost ready. Almost ready. Okay, so yes. that's good. Yes, so that's good in that case. So let's check right now the following part. And we have here, and um, we're going to Madrid on Monday. So that means that this person in the future is going to do that thing. Look at the second one. Mark's mother believes that he... What is the possible answer? He is? Yes. He's going to be. Okay. He's going to be what? Famous. Yes, that's right. So you can appreciate that this person has a great future. It's a future possibility. So look at the chat. 
uh, Mark's mother believes that he is going to be famous. Es decir, que él va a llegar a ser famoso. Va a llegar. And so that's uh, the point of this one. Look at the number three. Look at those clothes. It. It. Is kind. Yes. It is going to rain it's some. It's going to rain some. Okay, that's correct. It's going to rain soon. Es decir, que va a llover pronto. Entonces, ese going to, para nosotros es como decir ir a, voy a, él va a, nosotros vamos a, de una forma futura, in a future form. That's the way. Okay, look at the number four in this case. I hope you... Okay, I hope you're you are what? You're going to stay after the party. You are going to stay okay after the party. The British say party. So you're going to stay after the party. That's correct. So because it's something that you are going to do. Let's see with the number five. Help me with the number five. Rachel thinks you you what? Yes. You are on this. You are going to understand what she means soon. Okay. So what you are, uh, what you are going to understand what she means soon. Okay. So yeah, that's that's good. It definitely makes sense to me. Congratulations. That's. Definitely important. Okay, number six. I. Number six. I'm going to meet him to my. I'm going to meet. My uncle. Okay, that's correct. I am going to meet my uncle. Es decir, que yo me voy a reunir con mi tío en el aeropuerto. So you can see um, the possible answer here. Look at that. And check the number seven. Check the number seven. We, a dinner party, everything is ready. So what could be the possible answer? We are going to have a dinner party. Okay, we're going to have a dinner party. Everything is ready. So it's already planned. So you're saying that in the future, in a closer future, you will, you're going to go and also having fun with the party. That's right. Let's see the number eight. Help me with that part, please. You can do it. Number eight, the Browns. Yes. The Browns are going to move to the country next month. They have already sold their house in the city. Okay, so you are saying that the Browns are going to move, right? Yes, are going to move. Uh-huh. Okay. To the country, right? They are going to move to the country next month. Uh, that's okay. En este caso, pues ellos se van a mudar uh -huh. del, del país el próximo mes. So they are going to move. Okay, what about the number nine? Help me with that. Number nine. We are going, we are going to, to fly to London, to London tonight. We're going to fly to London tonight. 
Okay, they are going to fly to London tonight, right? So they are going to fly to London tonight. Es decir, que ellos van a volar a Londres esta noche. Entonces van a, van a viajar ahí, van a volar. Okay, that makes sense to me. And look at the, the next one. That is the number uh, 10. Do you think your brother... Mm -hmm. Yes, how this could be. ¿Cómo podría ser la siguiente? Your brother is going to. Do you think your brother is going to help you? Okay. Okay, great. Your brother is going to help you. That's correct. So you can see the, the, the structures. So that makes sense to me. So let's see here the next part. Okay. Oh, before that we go on to the next part, do you do you have a question or a doubt? Yes. No questions or doubts about this. So cleared. What? It's okay. Okay, look at this one. So just to conclude, so okay, what? perfect. Okay, thank you so much. So it says complete the invitation in column A with the present continuous. Use as future and complete the responses in column B with the going to. So look at the letter A uh, because of the time. What, uh, letter A, what you do tonight? ¿Cómo sería la primera? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. How this will be? Uh, no. What are you doing? Tonight? What are you What are you doing tonight? tonight? Okay. Oh, what are you doing tonight? And what possible answers we have in that case in this letter B? Would you like to go out? So, and letter B A, how this would be? Letter B A, como sería ahí? I be here on, on Saturday, but not sure. Let's try and go on Saturday. I'm going to be here on Saturday. But no Sunday, let's try and go on Saturday. Okay, on Saturday. Yes, uh, look at the chat. Yes, I am going to be here on Saturday. Decir que voy a estar aquí el sábado, but not, sh not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. So that makes sense to me. And look at the number two. What do you have for the number two? Okay, what do you see in the number two? A. You do anything on Friday? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Okay. Are you doing anything on, anything on Friday night? Okay, so are you doing anything on Friday night? And also, what possible answer we have? Well, my father, my father what? My father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. Well, I love to home. come. Okay, um, it's going to, uh, my father is going to visit my brother uh, in college, but my mother is, or and I are going to be home, are going to be home. Okay. Yes. 
are going to be home. Okay, great. And what about the number three? Look at the number three. We uh, have friends over for a barbecue. Number three. We are Hello? And me? Okay, so we're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. And um would you would you and your parents like to come? Y qué respuesta sería la C de la parte B? Sorry, I can't. Yes. I'm going to. Sorry, I can't. I going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Excellent. That's correct. So I'm going to work overtime tonight. And let's see the last one. Number four. Help me with the number fours to conclude. And stay in town next weekend. Yes. Are you staying in, in town next weekend? Are you staying, let's see. Are you staying in town? Okay. Okay, good. Are you staying in town? Y la respuesta, ¿cuál sería? Can we go to a late show? I am going to stay at the office till seven o'clock. Okay, I am going to stay at the office. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, students, it was definitely great. So tomorrow, because of the time, we will continue working with these structures. That actually is pretty easy. And I know that it's the tomorrow we will have more time to work with some other exercises. Thank you so much for the effort and dedication that you all the time take for that class. So I hope to see you tomorrow, but if you have questions, you have the freedom to ask right now, or if not, uh, be ready to work actively in the class tomorrow. No comment or questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, guys, thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night to all of you guys too. Enjoy your night. Bye-bye.